it is about putting things right first you know so before we get charged are we in a in a good shape we are quite broken we are quite broken the society breaks us the education system breaks us our parents they don't know what we are, they are doing to us they are not uh, you know trying to do harm to us but because they don't know what to do so they are indirectly also harming us so we come to an ashram not to get charged actually but first of all to get fixed <laughs> all these broken pieces have to be put put together first and then we get charged now is there a way that we can stop charging our handphone can it self charge yes it can there is a technology that within few years all our handphones will be you just have to throw them out because your handphone just need to be under the sun for few hours a day and it gets charged by itself so you don't need battery anymore it there is a battery there is a battery but it doesn't have to be plugged to a socket it can get charged the technology is already there but they are not selling it out yet because they sell it all these industries they have invested so much money on batteries and on all those stuff they will go bankrupt so they want to make money first and then after some time when they have made lot of money then they'll say look all your phones cannot be used now sorry there are no batteries available because now is a new battery and it gets charged by solar but even then you need an outside factor to charge i have not found a solution for all of us including myself to charge myself 24/7 by myself this is quite a different subject now actually quite a different subject now it is possible that i charge myself using my supreme self my superior self but that again there is a division as long as you have a body as long as you have a mind oneness is an ideal that will come later on right now we are living in duality so whatever we do we cannot we cannot really uh, avoid this duality this duality is always there this duality is always there so if the duality is always there let us find a better partner if you have to get married find a good partner <laughs> if you can avoid it fine but if you really have to get married then find right partner so if duality is already there and will always be there let me find the supreme self let me find the higher level of consciousness and let me mate with that let me have that as partner instead of things of lower consciousness and by being on higher consciousness you will help your immediate surrounding it is just like a lamp like a lamp the lamp is not having any 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 uh, what do you call preference that it should only give me light not give you light once the light is there everybody is enjoying the light i am not talking about partner like in the west nowadays there is a lot of stories about soul mate and all this i am not talking about that i am talking about the spiritual master once you find there is always an immediate connection you cannot mistake it you cannot mistake it you will immediately know that here is my master here is someone who can guide me and the real master will only point the way to you you have to do your own walking he will not take you by hand step by step no he will not babysit you he will just show you the way and he will explain to you what kind of difficulties are there on the way he will not try to inflate our ego think positive you know no he will not give 
any such suggestion, he will tell you there are these hindrances, there are these obstacles and you have to face them. If you are talking about relationship between two individuals, I have never ever seen a single example. It breaks off after some time. For five years, ten years, you can feel this is my partner, this is my soulmate, this is my mirror. After ten years broken, fifteen years broken, twenty years broken. And then you find another partner and then you try to bully yourself. I try to cheat myself by making me understand, okay, I have already learned my lesson from that partner. Now I've got a new soulmate, I've got a new lesson. It doesn't happen that way. All these are mental partners, intellectual partners, physical partners. They have their expiry date. You can be with them for so many years. You cannot be with them forever. There are no mirrors. Everything is mirror. The sun rays are sun rays. You cannot separate them. We are all soulmates. I cannot tell you that you are my soulmate because we are all soulmates. We come from the same source. So if we are saying that you are my soulmate, I'm, you know, into you, blah, 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 it's wrong. It's not, uh, it doesn't happen that way. If the relationship takes you to the bed, man or women, if it goes to the bed, then it does not happen because it becomes very much physical again. A lot of people doing Tantra and this thing, Tantra for sex. Now, Tantra is not for sex. Tantra is going beyond sex. So, if, if we are still having sexual relationship in such a relationship, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's my personal opinion, that that is not uh, what we are talking about. Thank you.